I would, uh, I would like to welcome the participants of the uh, conference dedicated to the World Hepatitis Day 2020. Uh, and uh, I am very grateful to be a participant of this conference and I will give you a short overview of NCDC and find partnership in Georgian HCV elimination program. As you know, they and are informed that Georgia started the HCV elimination program in 2015 and since the, since the beginning with many other partners, Farm Find is our partner and I will give you a short overview of what was done in the last two years together with Find. The first slide shows the prevalence of HCV in Georgia. We unfortunately we are high prevalence country. The chronic infection is in 5.4% of adult population, which in absolute figures is 150,000 of the population. Leading genotype for Georgia is the genotype 1. Uh, B and uh, then comes genotype 3 and genotype 2. We have a picture of the from the right side the distribution of the uh, prevalence of the HCV chronic infection in different regions of Georgia as well the target how many people in each region is uh, are the subject of the treatment and the elimination program or the action plan for the 2015-20 has a three targets. The 90% of people living with HCV should be diagnosed until end of 2020. 95% of those diagnosed are treated, and 95% of those uh, should be cured. Unfortunately, due to many circumstances, as first of all of the pandemic uh, of the coronavirus, we cannot reach this all the targets, but I hope that's the continuation of the program for the next three years until end of 2023, we will reach the major our targets in the elimination. Uh, the next slide shows that the, while the national program has strong success in that over 70,000 people have been enrolled in the treatment, the data showed that the among key populations such as people who inject drugs there was up to 50% loss between rapid diagnostic tests, screening, and viral load tests. Therefore, NCDC and DEFIND partnered to conduct a study to understand which diagnostic pathways can be more effective in facilitating HCV testing among IDE use. The objective of this study are to determine if the proportion of participants who receive results of HCV viremia testing differs between the arms characterize the HCV here cascade for ID use uh, identified through harm reduction sites in Georgia and they quantify the proportion that goes through each step in the cascade and finally to ex uh, assess the cost of different testing strategies per the uh, R. The next slides shows the map of the study sites. You can see that there were sites uh, located all throughout the Georgia and all together I think it's are the eight sites. Uh, the next slide uh, uh, gives us the understanding of uh, non-randomized interventional study at eight harm reduction sites in Georgia. The Next slide uh, shows that the four sites conduct blood draw and point of ser uh, service decentralized HCV RNA testing by using gene expert platforms and the results are provided at harm reduction sites on the same day. Uh, two sites collect blood samples on site and transport them to the reference centralized laboratory like the Luger Center of NCDC for the HCV core antigen testing. Results are provided at a follow-up visit to the harm reduction site. There are two harm reduction sites. One refers anti-HCV positive patients for HCV RNA testing to HCV treatment centers and the results are sent by SMS to patients. The other one collects blood samples on site and transports them to reference centralized laboratory Lugar Center for HCV core antigen test, testing. Results are provided at a follow-up visit to harm reduction sites. The, here we see that arm one where the gene expert 
was on site, 100% of participants received an RNA test. In ARM2, where the blood was drawn on site at harm reduction sites and sent to Lugar for the confirmatory testing, 99.8% of participants received a confirmatory test. And in the ARM3, where the rapid diagnostic tests plus participants were referred to the treatment centers off-site, 89.8% received confirmatory tests. Next slide shows some uh, summary of our, uh, I mean, the study impact of national uh, policy. The introduction of decentralized HCV confirmatory testing catalyzed the decentralization of HCV treatment in the harm reduction sites. Blood draw at harm reduction sites and sample referral to Lugar Center, now the norm or the standard nationally in harm reduction sites. Provided evidence, evidence towards the decision uh, to make all diagnostic uh, free to the patients. These lessons can be helped inform uh, the update strategy plan for HCV elimination for 2021-2025. Thank you very much, and the acknowledgments to all, I mean, the, uh, our partners like FIND, CDC, and WHO, UNITAID, and all others, of course, the Ministry of Health and uh, Harm Reduction Network. Thank you very much.